Guys, welcome back to the Cyberplat build. We need to find out what's inside this Cybertruck headlight. This is a 12 volt system in this plaid. This works off of a 48 volt and it gives these weird frequencies that there's no way you're gonna get this to work. So I need to take it apart and put my own LEDs in here. Let's take it apart. This thing is beefy, pretty big. That's what she said. <laughs> so check this out. This glue right here, try to heat it up, try to pull it apart. Heat will not affect how pliable this is. So the only way is to cut it. It looks like these are the LED chips that stand and light up the whole bar. Let me take off these T10 screws, see if I can pull some more off. Tabs. Whoa, there is a lot of LEDs. Look how many LEDs that has. I did not think it was that many. And all it is is, look, the lens is uh, frosted. Nothing special, it's just, that is pretty cool. That is a lot of LEDs. Let's keep pulling it apart. <laughs> Look at that. That's how a Cybertruck headlight is made. I didn't realize it was so many LEDs. Would not have guessed that. The frequencies that these LEDs get from the Cybertruck system is something that you cannot replicate. It's gonna cost a lot more to try and get this thing to work without pulling it apart and putting your own LEDs. I would love to make these work, but this had to be done. I have plenty of room to put my, my own LEDs inside. What I got is I have a 24 volt LED strip. That's what I used for the Cyber Roadster. And that one was super bright. Check this out. And this is significantly brighter than a 12 volt. Since I can't do it off the car, 100%, right? 50%, look, 25%. 10%. That's pretty cool. That's the setup I'm gonna have. Let's clean up. All right, so what I need to do is, since these are all, you know, separated four pieces, I need to get these to be stationary because when I put this strip on here, obviously I don't want it to, you know, go back and forth. I can rip something, something might break, right? Staple these together, two, two and two, and then I'm gonna put this strip on. This is 3M double-sided tape right here, and I was kind of worried that this might not be strong enough, but <laughs> it's like over the top strong. I'm not worried about this coming off. So. Get it some more. Weight reduction. Pick it up. I'm gonna put it on the bottom side and on the on the face where the original LEDs were standing.
Ah, there it goes. Okay. Hmm. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> Look at that. You'll never know that I, it's been taken apart. Is that on, on 100? That's on 50, 25, and 10%. 100 looks proper. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but originally the Cybertruck headlight, it's, it's kind of like a, at a 5,000K in terms of you know warmth and cool. This is a little bit cooler than what the uh, Cybertruck originally is. This is more like a uh, 6,500 versus Cybertruck maybe like a five to 5,500. There's a little more on the warm side, slightly. Um, and I want to go just a little bit cooler than that. <laughs> it's alive that's a hundred let's see 50 25 10 that's like super super low light right there that's like if uh, driving around at night or something probably not even that that's a hundred and hold on look at this hold on <laughs> what's this one hold on All right, all right, some, this is when you're pulling some, somebody over. See what it looks like from outside. All right. Okay, so take a look at this. Uh, <laughs> that is pretty cool how easy that was to do. Um, like I said, because of, the, uh, because of the frosted inside lens, you don't see, if you do any kind of imperfections or any kind of mistakes, you're not gonna see it. I didn't do any mistakes. That's 10 right there, 10%. Do you see it on the camera? Can you see it? You can't really see it, huh? 25, 50, and 100. That's cool. I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> That's gonna look so freaking cool. Look at the roof line. Mm. The purpose of this video was to take apart this bar light and make sure, I'm the kind of person like, if, if there's something that needs to be done, I'm not gonna relax until I know exactly which way I'm headed, right? So I will be cutting this down most likely. You see where the, this tape on this side, on this right side, this is most likely where it's gonna get cut. Probably more actually. So that's why I didn't secure it 100%. That's pretty soon. I'm gonna be working on that pretty soon. So um, that's, that's when I'm gonna cut it the way I want to and then you know, really um, waterproof everything. Guys, stay tuned. There's a lot of content coming on this car. Like, share, subscribe, peace.